Now at 10, honoring the past while embracing the future, the city of Petal celebrates 50 years with food, fireworks, and fellowship ahead. Plus supporting local nonprofits one step at a time, hundreds of runners, walkers, and cheerleaders put their best foot forward in the Hattiesburg Half Marathon. And expect partly cloudy skies from right in the Pine Belt. Not quite as cool. The uh, news at 10 starts right now. Tonight, WDAM 7 News is proud to be on your side with WDAM 7 News at 10. Hey, Pie Bell, tonight the city of Petal celebrates 50 years of incorporation. Welcome in. I'm Carrie Liggett Brown. A special fireworks show just lit the skies over Petal River Park, where neighbors gathered to mark five decades of history with celebration on the river. Our Jay Harrison spoke with Petal leaders about the event and how this milestone will help push the city into the future. It was a night of celebration in the friendly city of Petal as people gathered down at Petal River Park to celebrate the city's 50th anniversary. Petal's been around a lot longer than that. We've been a community for a long time, but we weren't incorporated until 1974. When people weren't up and on their feet for the Molly Ring Walls, they were visiting the 17 vendors that took part in this year's celebration. Plans for the event began around a year ago. You only have one 50th anniversary. It can only happen once in your lifetime. So as soon as we knew it was coming up, we started planning last year. And one of the main things that people wanted was a great band. And they came up with the Molly Ringwalds. Pedal Mayor Tony Ducker has been in office since 2021 and moved to Pedal back in 1998. Looking back, he says a lot is different about the city but the change in growth hasn't taken away the values on which the city was founded upon. As long as we hold on to, to the things that have gotten us here, we'll always be pedal, surround our schools, surround our residents, and we'll always be pedal. We have to remember that. Remember who we were and remember who, uh, who we want to be. Ducker says pedal's future will remain bright as long as everyone's on board with keeping the city friendly and a place of opportunity. We don't want to look back so much that we stumble going forward uh, but at the same time, uh, there's been so many decisions, so many folks that have uh, have brought us to this point. We we stand on their shoulders today, and uh, we'll remember that going forward. In Petal, I'm Jay Harrison, WDAM7, on your side. The celebration closed out with a fireworks show similar to the annual 4th of July Star Spangled Celebration, also held at the river. Now over to our first alert weather team. Rex, it was a beautiful night for fireworks, right? It certainly was, Carrie. There's a couple of clouds in the area, but not many. And so that's going to keep us from getting quite as cool overnight. We'll be in the low 50s instead of the 40s overnight here in the Pine Bowl. But it's uh, beautiful outside. Walt Massive Ward in Columbia coming in at 63 degrees. And the winds are south at 6 miles per hour there. We'll take a look at the almanac. Today's high got up to 78. That's just 2 degrees shy above the average. The low this morning was 45. That's quite a few degrees below the average of 52. Now, the record 90 on this day back in 1911. So we can get in the 90s around here this time of the year. And the low, the record low was 32 on this day back in 1950. That's a long time ago. And we'll take a look now at current readings across the area. Upper 50s to uh, lower 60s across the board. So that's what we have going on right now. I'll have a complete look at the forecast coming up shortly. Carry back to you. All right, thanks, Rex. Developing in Hattiesburg, bond is set for the third suspect in the shooting death of 15-year-old uh, Janae Lumsey. 17-year-old Brian Brown was arrested Thursday and charged with first-degree murder. Today, officials with the Hattiesburg Police Department tell us Brown's bond has been set at $250,000. Another suspect in custody, 17-year-old Nicholas Odutula, has the same bond amount. 20-year-old Javon Stovall is being held with no bond. The Rankin County NAACP continued their fight against police misconduct at a town hall meeting this afternoon, again calling for Sheriff Brian Bailey's resignation. It's their third meeting with the same goal. People brought petitions to the Brandon Public Library calling for Bailey to be removed from the department. NAACP President Angela English and attorney Trent Walker spoke on their efforts to address the issues surrounding his conduct during and after the sentencing of six former Rankin County law enforcement officers who pled guilty to the torture of two black men. English says the petitions speak for themselves. Both parties are sick of what is going on. They are ready for Brian Bailey to go. 
So again, I say it's not a black and white issue. It's not a uh, brown issue. It's not an Asian issue. It's a human rights issue. The NAACP already have uh, has around 29,000 signatures for Bailey's resignation. More than a half dozen nonprofits across the Pine Belt benefited from an annual event this morning that attracted more than 1,000 runners and walkers. It was all part of the Hattiesburg Half Marathon, 10K and 5K. 1,500 participants made their way through parts of downtown Hattiesburg, raising money for organizations like the Ark of Southeast Mississippi, the Domestic Abuse Family Shelter, and Southern Pines Animal Shelter. This is my first Hattiesburg half, so I'm excited to see it. I've heard a lot of good things about all the charities on the different miles and the crowd support, so I'm really excited for the run. It's incredible for the city. The race sold out early. There's so tons of people here. It's going to be a good day. It brings people in from all over the place. We'll have people from probably 30 plus states that came in. We had a, a three or four countries rec, you know, represented the last couple of years. Met someone yesterday from Bermuda who's running in it for the second time. They came back. The city's first half marathon back in 2012 also featured a 5K and was organized by employees of Hattiesburg Clinic. And some race participants carried more than first place ambitions today. Several members of the Hattiesburg Fire Department hit the pavement wearing their gear, which weighs about 70 pounds total. HFD says each member crossed the finish line. So congratulations to those guys. And today, one pedal Little League baseball player got the surprise of the season. Cannon Estes did not expect to see his dad, Army National Guard Captain Doug Estes, walking across the field today for a big hug. Captain Estes recently returned home from a nine month deployment in support of Operation Spartan Shield in the Middle East. He says the job was tough, but thanks to FaceTime and a strong support system, he was able to stay connected with his family thousands of miles away. These days and age, you know, technology has just uh, come so far and it's such a blessing. You know, back in the early 2000s, uh, we didn't have that. People didn't have that whenever they were deployed overseas and couldn't see family and talk to family as much as we could, but we were blessed uh, and able to be able to do that and, and stay in touch. And now that he's back in pedal, Captain, Captain Estes says he looks forward to spending quality time with his family and getting back to his full time job. The Community Arts Center in Hattiesburg hosted an hour long event today designed to help children make the most of their five senses. This sensory Saturday featured all sorts of fun hands on activities for kids from two to six years, uh, six years of age with various levels of abilities. The folks from Bright Steps Pediatric Therapy Services were on hand to guide the youngsters through several sensory exploration stations. It's come and go activities so they can come stay for the full hour. If you only got 15 minutes, you can come stop by. We also have handouts for the parents to take home and do some of those activities at home. And Sensory Saturday is held once each month at the Community Arts Center. Also, Pine Belt parents, if you're looking for more family fun, Hattiesburg Parks and Recreation is hosting a community volleyball game tomorrow afternoon. All ages are welcome, but minors must be with an adult. The pickup style game is from 3 until 5 at the Ben McNair Community Center. If you're interested, you're asked to text volleyball to 205-499-9454. Coming up at 10, the White House prepares for a significant attack as Iranian officials say an Israeli airstrike won't go unanswered. What it means for rising Middle East tensions ahead, plus putting pressure on politicians. A planned pro-Israel resolution vote looks to support Israel's right to self-defense. More after the break. <laughs> 